I was always interested um, in things that were quite complex. Studying biology, especially at Oxford, gives you kind of the opportunity to find out what you like. It was sort of the most humanities science. I've always really liked genetics. I've always really liked learning interesting stuff about biology and little plants and animals that interact with along the way. It was sort of a good mixture between sort of contemporary science and also the ability to like write and discuss and argue things. I went on Unique um, in year 12, so I was from state school um, and we didn't have loads of people going to Oxford. It just seemed like um, the sort of place where people go when they're really interested in their subject. Um, and Unique sort of confirmed that for me and staying here I, I saw that it was the sort of place that I could live. And then I started looking into the course and the course seemed really cool. And then I came here to CATS uh, on an open day and then I was like, okay, yep, yeah, I want to live here, I want to do biology here. Um, I think one of the best things about the Oxford system is of course the tutorials um, where every week you get to write an essay about something completely different and then discuss it with one of the world experts. It's, it's a really incredible opportunity um, to kind of figure out what you don't know about something and, um, and just explore it in as much detail as you can in a week. Yeah, so our tutor Ashley um, <laughs> does in first year she does lots of really fun tutorials so one of a personal favorite is um, the brief is just pirates um, and you get to do um, a tutorial on anything to do with pirates so I did mine on kleptoparasitism which is um, food stealing so I did it on um, drongo birds that steal food from um, meerkats um, and it's really exciting because everyone does something completely different and it just shows you how you know biology can be as broad as you want it to and I think it's really cool when you're getting taught things and it's by people who are really in that field and often they'll either be the researcher that they're quoting or they'll know the researcher that they're quoting which is very cool and I don't think you'd get that to the same level in other places. As I live in Cambridge and Cambridge do natural sciences I wasn't planning to it never crossed my mind to apply that but um, I really like the tutorial system and Oxford seems quite similar to home, but also away from home, which would be quite nice. And it's still a biking city, which I really love. You get very outdoors. Um, and once I came for the open days, I really fell in love with the Natural History Museum, which luckily I've just finished doing a field co course in. So that's been really nice to come back to. Um, ever since I was a kid, I've absolutely loved being outdoors um, and exploring nature. And I always used to have questions and yeah, obviously living in New Zealand had a really profound impact, especially on my understanding of biology, but also on just like the intrinsic beauty and complexity and just blew my mind. Like you, could, you can go sort of right down into something that doesn't feel like a humanity at all. So if you're doing biochemistry or genetics, or even things like quantum biology, if you're getting into your third and fourth years, or you can be sort of doing things that border with kind of geography so say if you're looking at climate change or you're looking at sustainable development, so sort of the large scale issues, like large scale like global environmental issues, right down to kind of fine cellular biology, too small for you to even comprehend. And I think that's what, what really uh, pulls me towards biology as well as just the scale of it. The other students that you get to interact with, because biology is such a diverse subject, you can actually talk to people with lots of different interests, learn things from them, you can teach things to them. And then on top of that, you've got the academics, which are all like, like experts in their field. They are so knowledgeable about so much and they're all so super passionate. So it's nice being with like-minded people. But I'm really interested in research and in ecology um, and the opportunities for me to do extra things alongside my degree, uh, to build my research portfolio, especially in that field, which I really like. I think one of the best things is the college system because you really get a community of people that potentially wouldn't necessarily kind of become friends with in normal life but because you um, see people so often that you get to make friends from like lots of different places and lots of different groups and it really is like a college community. There are some great coffee shops. <laughs> um, I like things that I didn't think I'd like evolution and that kind of thing you'd add and plants so that's very cool do you have any plant fun facts this is a bit no it's a bit grim if i talk about that i was going to talk 
Let's go talk about saprophyllia, which is the thing where plants smell like smell like rotting meat and attract flies, which is which is it's just very interesting, I think, and it's very cool. And it catches these like tiny little specific types of midge called owl midges, and then it keeps them like trapped overnight. And then they have to pollinate the flowers, and then it lets them go in the morning. Oxford, in general, I was most I was mostly surprised by sort of how similar people were to me. I think I had sort of a big misconception that, that everyone was going to be quite different, that everyone was going to be sort of overly focused on work and that I wasn't going to meet anyone who sort of enjoyed work but also enjoyed socialising. I, I, and I also sort of had this strong feeling that it was going to be very competitive in terms of you're constantly comparing yourself against your peers. Um, but I think I was quite like happy to find that it's not like that and sort of everyone kind of groups together in terms of sharing the same challenges, um, sharing the face of the same issues, whether they're like academic or non-academic. The support offered by um, Oxford University has been amazing, um, especially coming from a state school and low income background. Uh, I was worried that I wouldn't have the same opportunities that some other students would have. And actually, um, the support has changed my life. I think actually how manageable it is um, I think coming in, I definitely had the narrative of, um, you know, you're coming to Oxford, it's going to be a lot of work, you're going to really struggle. Um, and there's been times where it's been difficult and stressful, but having that passion, having that interest for my subject and having the support systems that are in place, um, I have been able to manage it. I've been able to step away when I said, actually, no, that's a bit too much. And my tutors have been really understanding with that. Um, so I suppose I, I didn't really expect it to be as manageable. I expected it to be a bit more overwhelmed and I, and I was pleasantly surprised um, with, it, with a good challenge. Like it's, it's not easy, but it's, um, it's, it's not unbearable. <laughs> Definitely first I'd like to work in industry a little bit. Biotechnology, pharmaceutical companies would be really interesting to get a taste of. And I might, I might decide to come back into academia um, that would be a nice full circle, but I think I definitely see myself, uh, whatever ends up happening, I definitely see myself going into some sort of science communication. I think I want to start off by going into research more, um, just for a bit so I can build that up as a background. And then I think I might want to take the subjects and go into science communications, or maybe even some sort of something at an international level when it comes to policy making. I find bioethics quite interesting. So next year um, I'm doing a master's on social structure and cooperation in birds in Whiten Woods, so just outside of Oxford. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do yet, but um, I think potentially something on the, along the lines of conservation, um, which they have lots of um, amazing conservation people working in Oxford, so it's a great place to come if you're interested in conservation. Think about the sort of areas that you're interested in with biology um, and think about doing extra things on top of your work if you can handle it and really kindling that passion because when it comes to applications and when it comes to getting here um, you'll want to be building on the areas that you really enjoy. Just um, read around your subject and read around like the things that interest you in A-levels um, and then you know, that's a great way to explore topics in tutorials um, that aren't necessarily like prescriptively part of the course and you can show tutors that um, you're interested in biology and, um, and have like ideas about, you know, what you, what you can say about it. Just go for it with, with not only the applications but also finding work experience, emailing people, just getting out there, like honestly, you'll never know if you don't ask and don't try. You don't have to stress out so much about it. It's, you know, maybe it's a big decision, but you can trust yourself that if you, if you are slightly interested in it and, and you're thinking about going for it, there will be so much that you can do within your degree. Um, so even if you do make a decision that feels really big and like you're never turning back from it, I'm sure you'll find some enjoyment along the way. And it, the, you know, things will surprise you so much of, of Oxford and Cambridge, especially from an outsider looking in, so much of it is, is focused around there being a specific Oxford stereotype. Even when you're here at interview, if you do come for an in-person interview, or when you're here on an open day, just really be yourself. Because um, I think we need, to, we need to work towards sort of smashing that stereotype and you can be a part of that. Mm -hmm.